Hello viewers, uh, today we're going to replace, replace this tap with a more modern uh, kitchen tap. So this tap, I paid um, 40 pounds for it. I bought this from, um, I bought this tap from Aldi. And this tap, you can get it out for us. Uh, this, type, this type of taps are always expensive in the DIY shops. But I got this one from Aldi at a cheap price of 40 pounds. Normally we'll be, we'll be talking about 120 pounds for this type of pack, uh, tap in, in B&Q. So this is what we're going to put today. We're going to replace this tap for that one. So what comes in? Everything you need to you need for the tap is here. We have the connectors. So this this is a mixer. You can mix both, both hot and cold water. And uh, here we have the flexible connection hoses that came with it. Flexible connection hoses came that came with it. I have two, one for hot water and one for cold water. You don't have to start any job. This is where you turn it off. That's for the hot water. See that valve is for the hot water. It's straight now because it's open. And that's for the cold water. Oh, it's underneath the sink. We have a trailer sleeve. The trailer sleeve will, will help to hold it to stand in place when we put it on. So the trailer sleeve goes in here. And uh, we have some seals that came with it. We have uh, these two seals that came with it. I think the three of them or so. I think the three three seals that came with it. So I have two uh, blue seals and, and one white seal. It's white seal. We have um, so we have everything that we need to connect it. So now we're going to proceed to disconnect this one. So first of all, we're going to locate uh, the, the valves. And turn the water off. So the valves for this one down there. So I've turned off the water. Now I'm going to disconnect it from here. This is the hot water and this is the cold water. So identify which is which. You can turn off one and you go and check the tap, see which water is coming out, and then you do the other one. So after we've done that one, then we're going to proceed to actually take off the tap. So now let's uh, disconnect it. Uh, you're going to need some spanners to disconnect this. So I was able to use 24 spanner to loosen it up. to wear gloves to protect your hand because this thing can be um, the wire on the flexible connector and be able to wound injure you so you have to, to avoid injuries just use gloves I like to use gloves so that I can protect my hand so now I'm losing it because it's loose already so the, this is for the hot water oh, it's come off now I'm going to have to loosen the the cord as well which is behind here. There's not there's barely any space to run over. You know, such is the case here. Just a little spanner will be good as well. So after removing the flexible pipes, I've now removed the flexible pipes. Um to, to flexible pipes. You can see the flexible pipes that I removed here. So now I'm gonna remove uh, that part that's holding the tap in place. So that's what I'm doing now. You can see it's already loose coming off. So, Let's use your ratchet. To get it out. So, that's the lower part of it. That's what's holding it in place. So, now I'm taking out the old one. The old top is not flowing. It's time to clean it and also make sure that this can go through. So now we know we're going to be able to put the, the new one here. Just a little bit of wiping. And of course, there are some instructions. The, the tap came with some instructions of how to mount it. So this is seal. There's a seal that goes in first, which is, I think, is a white plastic, uh, is a, a white plastic seal, the plastic ring. And then the other side will go below. Like a number 14, the ceiling ring blue. So this one will go in first, the white the white plastic according to the instructions. So always follow instructions. So this one will go in here, supposedly. And then get the instruction handy. Now we start with tighten this one in. 
see here's what we've got now. So it's, it's supposed to sit here. My hole might not actually be wide enough. I might, I might have to make a bigger hole. Or alternatively, I'll put this one behind, but underneath, like this. If I cannot put it like that, I have to put it from under. And I'm gonna have to sit it like this. Oh, we have another issue. There's wood sitting here. It's not gonna let it go down. So yeah, it's gone in. But that wood is not gonna let me tighten it, so I'm gonna have to get rid of it. So this is what it's gonna be looking like when it's done. Something like this. See how beautiful. And that's the old that's the old one. That's the old tap. It's old tap and the new prime mixer. The full instruction. So according to the instruction, this is number 15 should come here. And number 15 is uh the transparent ceiling ring. The transparent ceiling ring should stay here. According to the instruction. Mm. These are the connector pipes. And then um number 14, which is uh we're gonna have number 14, which is another ceiling ring with blue one. There's a fat blue one, which is this one. Frozen as well. And then uh what else? Then we're gonna have uh Number 13, which is a plastic triangle ring. Plastic triangle, which is this one. But this is meant to go into this hole. I'm just thinking that it's not gonna be alright because because of this thing. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. So it's probably gonna go like this. So keep so the top from running around. How much of that that's mounted? <laughs> I finally put the blue here. The blue seal, the blue tin seal. The highway you want it, point it out of the way. So somewhere like here, so it's out of the way. And then I already have this one mounted like this, following the instructions. So I'm gonna put it from below. I'm gonna bring it up here. The connectors, because the connectors eventually go into this one. I'm going to try to put this one. We'll just put it through here. Put it into this one here. And we can... Alright. It's a point to touch. See what we're doing. Done. Yeah, I get the other one last done as well. So it does not drop off. We'll have both of them. Last done now. Tighten it by hand. Stays up. And the other parts, this will be low. If all things being right, it should be something like this. So now we'll go below to have a look at it from underneath.
Ideally, I would have wanted the triangle to stay below, to stay above, so that it gives it good, uh, good edge, so it doesn't move. Well, my hole looks like it's not big enough, so I'm gonna make do with what I have. Because mm. you don't want the top to be spinning. You don't want the top to spin to be spinning. Ideally, this, tri this triangle should stay up, the white triangle should stay up, but due to the fact that my hole is too small, uh, okay, I'm not been able, I was not able to fit it through the hole, so I'm going to try to square it off as much as possible under here. And uh, what we're going to do now. Here's what it looks like right now. I've only tightened it by hand. I tightened uh, that part by hand. And uh seems to be standing now. So, so I'll tighten it a bit more. And then I'll get the seal. I will connect the, the, the flexible pipes so that we have water. So let's continue. I don't want to tighten it with my hands, so I'm going to use, um, use my special tool <laughs> to tighten it. So, this is my mole grip, it's a special mole grip, but well, any mole grip would do. This one can expand quite rapidly. So now I'm connecting the I'm connecting the flexible the flexible pipes. This is to hot water and the other one to cold water. Because it's slim like this, because it's flexible as so slim, it's gonna give the water pressure. It's slimmer than the old one. So the old one are quite um are bigger than the small one, bigger than the new one. So the, the section of this uh this flexible is uh, bigger than the, the new one. The new ones are, are, are small, so it's gonna give the water a lot of pressure. So I'll tighten it up and then we can we can test it. So I've now tightened the two, the two mm, flexible pipes and we're going to open the water, open the valve and uh, see what, see the result and this is for hot water. So here's the result. Oh, we actually locked it. Should be open. We haven't opened it yet, so. It's not open, and that has to be in line with the flow with the pipe before you know that it's open. And some more light here. So now we actually have two two methods of flow. So we can change the method. We check the temperature. This is a hot and cold water mixer. Can you flow like this or flow like this? Hot water now. It's going cold. 
So actually mixed it. I I mixed the whole thing up. So this side is supposed to be hot water, not cold water. But I put it opposite. If you put it this side, it's supposed to be hot. It's supposed to be cold. So I need to, I swap the pipe around, so I'm gonna to have to swap the pipe again now. We have now installed the tap. If you look at it, there's a blue um, seal under here. So it's better to make sure the seal goes under. It's kind of solid. It's not as solid as I thought it would be, but it's quite, it's quite, it's quite nice for that for that forty pound. What you get for forty pound? Anyway, you get what you paid for. Oh, it's it's nice, I think. So I think it's value for money. This is forty pound I spent on it. So you can get um, two types of flow. You guys flowing like this, it's flowing like a shower. And you can bring it, you can hook it, and take it wherever you want. You hook it back in. So that's the job done.